Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Vanessa Sumner here from Heart and Soul Transformations in Brisbane, Australia. Now this incredible art piece took me so by surprise. It started off with lots of beautiful texture paints, uh, sorry, texture pastes, uh, different mediums, and it kind of had this very oceanic feel with lots of different blues and greens and you know, umbers, earth colors over here. I think I've used some charcoal, I've got viridian, phthalo greens, phthalo blues, um, and, 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 and another color that I love so much is a green gold. And we've got whites, pearlescence, Australian sienna, and I didn't know where it was going to go. And I did not have this section in the middle. I let it sort of cure overnight or a couple of days. And then the next day I opened up charcoal, which was like the first time I think I'd used charcoal. And I, it was almost like I didn't have control over my hand because I had this beautiful like oceanic setup, And I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. I wonder where it's going to go. And next minute I'm drawing because they'd, they'd kind of been this almost octahedron area here that had formed itself through the different texture mediums. And then I found myself putting charcoal in the center of this oceanic painting thinking what am I doing oh my gosh but like I totally trust because I know that there's going to be a whole sequence of things that come together and it did and as I painted before I'd even finished halfway through I was told I am the intrepid traveler and even that gives me chills just talking about it now. And I actually had the painting uh, ready to sign the other way up. And I'm signing and it wasn't right, so I'm spraying water on, I'm you know, wiping it off and it wasn't coming together and I was like, oh, I was getting annoyed. And of course, you need to really wait for the canvas to dry before you can sign it again and then seal it. So I left it like the next day and then I happened to just Something within me said, turn it around. And when I turned it around, it was like, oh, I get why I couldn't sign it yesterday because it was meant to be signed this way. And that's when I saw this uh, beautiful being in the center. And interestingly enough, this last bit of um, green gold with pearlescent was the last bit that I placed on the painting. And it all just made sense to me. Now here's some of the words that have come through. And I'll just bring some light language through as well. And it's felt them saying, you know, do not be afraid. Big deep breaths, okay. Now, the intel I got on this, uh, gosh, a week ago that I wrote down is access in brackets, deeper wisdom, portal, rest, tranquility, explore your depths, depths of your wisdom. Um, oh, this was interesting. <laughs> oh, I love the stuff that I'm told about from my team for the paintings. And what the paintings say to me, it's always like that sometimes I give, not always, always sometimes that sounds confusing. I get sometimes the strangest things. They said, explore your, um, explore the, your depths. And then they said wisdom. And they said your mud and your swamp. And I was like, I love it. Like it just totally makes sense when you see the colors that I began with and where it's evolved from like you just gotta laugh like at that to, I don't know it's just joy to me um there's a sense of it being an underwater observatory and those two key words have a particular energy and frequency and sequence so if you're new to listening to my videos why I'm so particular and articulate about words is that because I have a particular framework structure and activation to offer healing, offer support, and to shift 
like stuff within you, shift the crap, shift the mud, just as they do for me as I'm painting them. You know, I have to integrate all of the paintings. It's not just chuck and paint on a canvas. Sometimes I can paint for like eight hours and the next day I'm like, I can't even hardly do anything because it, that doesn't happen as much lately. My energy is very expanded, but there have been times and I've moved through working on just huge, huge paintings, like really, really big, three times the size of this, um, and even some small ones that are smaller than this, and my body goes through a big, uh, it's almost like an energetic detox, a change, I have like so much uh, of realizations coming up for myself, so again, this is why they are sort of containers of tools, and not just a piece of art, so don't allow yourself when you choose a piece from my collection or pieces over time, don't allow yourself to be limited by it just being a piece of art because it's like almost like you're robbing yourself of the full potential of it. And, you know, we're in a time in our journey. We don't want to be robbing ourselves of anything to do with our potential. We're remembering so much about our energy. Now, this says also rest your heart. No, hang on. Let me go back. Um, underwater observatory I'm just going to focus on this area now relinquish doubt breathe in your new rhythm rhythms actually rest your heart so so as to access truth swim go deeper bathe in the internal lights and open your channels really really powerful Okay, oh, this has been a little bit longer than I had hoped. Thank you so much for viewing all the way to the end. And um, check out the description. I talk about my art, who I am, what I'm about, what I'm doing, where you can connect with me. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you have any inquiries regarding available pieces, please message me, preferably via the Heart and Soul Transformations page on Facebook or um, you can go to Instagram. And... Um, yeah, or if a piece has sold and you have just have any questions in general about securing your own pieces uh, or working with me one on one for energy medicine and light language sessions, you know where to find me. The links are in the description. All the best and have a really beautiful day.